In today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're going to be answering a question from one of our subscribers. Christopher Jetty 419 has asked, how do you find the gaps? Zenden, time me. For this, we're going to go through a couple of phases. First up, we're going to look at the contact point that we make when we bat in. The contact point will determine whether we hit the ball straighter or squarer, and ultimately, this is going to help us find the gaps. To do this, Zenden is going to point out an area where he thinks he can bounce the ball beyond to go straighter or behind to hit a squarer. We're going to put the cones there as a visual aid to help us with the first set. From there, we're going to throw over arms and Zen is going to look to hit the ball. For simplicity in this ball, we said that there was only an extra cover to really help us see if he can hit it squarer or straighter. As you can clearly see, when he's in the straighter, the ball bounces closer to the cones or beyond the cones from Zen's side, going into that straight line towards mid off or even straighter. When he was looking to go square of extra cover, the ball is bouncing either behind the cones or further away from the cones, but behind still, to really make sure that the lines are there. This is all to do with the contact point, because making sure that you hit in slightly in front will make the ball go more forward, making sure that you hit the ball later forces the ball slightly square. But for both, the importance is that you have a full face of bat onto the ball to promote a good contact in general, so it can get the ball through the inner field and to the boundary. The second part for this is we're going to now look at how to find the gaps in general. How we like to look at it is we want to look at the gaps and not where the fielders are. To do this, we put a gap between cover and point, between cover and mid-off, between the stumps and mid-on, between mid-on and mid-wicket, and then just in front of square leg. How we're going to do this now is we're going to throw over arms and then it's going to bat while trying to look at the gaps. The cones are there as a visual aid to make sure we are looking towards those zones so that we can hit it there. Players naturally look at the fielders and then pick out the fielders when they bat. So what we are trying to do is find the gap so that when you're thinking about the shot, your hands and your body naturally move towards the gaps to allow us to hit the ball through those gaps. We're going to do this in a set of 12 and see how many we can do. You can test yourself by keeping count and then coming back at a later stage to redo it. This is going to train us in the best possible way to make sure that we can get into good positions while still hitting the gaps to give us the best chance of success in our innings while hitting boundaries and rotating the strike to get those scores that every batter dreams of. Okay. Um, yeah, so just, just check the timing. Uh, I, I did fail. But having said that, I really do enjoy speaking about this and it is something that is really close to our heart, making sure that we can get all of this right. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like below and we'll send out another one soon.